Morning guys. Um just had this come in about ten minutes ago. Found it on Amazon yesterday. Fourteen pound. One some under scale. Ming USS Missouri. I thought, ah, that's nice. I like the looks of that. Cheap enough anyway. Um need someone to fill the time in before I do the invader, which I'm waiting for some PE to come for the cockpit so I can't start that until that comes so as soon as that comes I'll start the invader but in the meantime I thought I'll have a look at this and uh, after reading I'm quite I'm looking forward to having it giving it a go um, it doesn't require glue it's snap fit um, accurate exterior fast snap fit there is a, it's pre-coloured as well, so there is a paint call out there if you want to paint it. Um, yeah, I thought, let's have a go. It'd be ideal, I reckon, for someone that's going on holiday or something, or um, just starting in shipbuilding, maybe. I don't know. Um, didn't realise it was snap fit when I bought it, so don't know what it will turn out like. But I thought, I'd give it a go. Give it a build and see what happens. But um, so we'll open the box, see what we get. So in the box, what do we get? Oh, what's that? That looks like stickers actually of the deck. It's coloured in dark blue. There is planking on it. I can see the planking on it. So if you didn't want to paint it, you just stick the stickers on, which would be ideal if you're on holiday and want something to do. Or maybe an ideal starter kit for a youngster or someone. Or anyone, really. That don't do ships normally. So I'm going to build this out of the box, I think. Um, so many steps. What's this? USS Missouri. Uh, a lot of Japanese writing there. Ah. US Navy battleship. Got the history of the ship there by the looks of it. So we'll put that to one side. Assembly instructions. So then a big long sheet. So what do they want me to do here then? And this presumably all snaps fit. Propulsion, propulsion system assembly. Okay. So let's see what we get in the box in a minute. All looks very clean. Interesting. So this goes together, really. No glue. Is it deck? There's quite a few bits in here. Yeah. More colored bits there. More bits there. So what have we got in here then? There's a bit of a pre-coloured deck there. And a black deck there. Okay. So a dry dock's down there. A bit looks like you're gonna have it water line or full out. Looking good, isn't it? Let's see what we can do here. So, put some of this back in the box. I think we'll get on and start it and see how far we'll get the day with this. See if it turns out to be a reasonable looking ship sort of thing for a kit. Never seen one like this before though. So I thought it was just a normal kit. And do I do waterline or not waterline? Now let's go from let's start off instructions one and go all the way through, I think. So let's just get rid of this a minute. Get some of this out the bag. Definitely different for me anyway. Let's see if it looks like a ship at the end of it or whatever. So you want me to put 
So they want me to do this go step by step. I'm just following the instructions. See where it goes. So they're looking for S6. Now this could take some time because I obviously I've just opened the bag up now, but I'm not keen to have a go at it. Let's see or B. That's PS. Is that PS? Oh no, that's C. That's an F. You got to cut these bags open. Let's see if it clicks together like they say it does and see what the fit's like. So you got big letters distinguishing the sprue, which is a brilliant idea for people like me. That's getting old and a bit flipping blind. So I know that's a fantastic idea. So they want me to cut out well they want F6. So let's have a look here. Let's start this thing, shall us See how far I get today. If need be, I'll uh, carry on. Woes, I fit the other one. The invader part, P comes just to start that. I might be able to fit this one in between. It's just different, isn't it? could always paint it I suppose but I just want to do it out of the box and see where it goes S6 so that goes in there right brother this goes this side then that just push it now then no do I suppose. This holds there. Cool. Well they say push in but there it's, it snapped in. I don't know if you call this a proper model kit or what, but... I don't know. I suppose... It... It's certainly different. bit like the Gundam kits, I would imagine. I've done one of them longer back, and that was all snap fit. They want me to put that there. Just really curious to see how this goes together. Yeah, snapped in there, all right. Yeah, you got seam lines here, I suppose, which... Like there, which I suppose you could fill if you really wanted to. But I'm not going to, not on this one. So I'm looking at it as if I'm on holiday and wanted something to do. Or if I'm new to it. Modeling it would be a good start, wouldn't it? So that's that done now I need the props which is F2 that's one which is these guys the 
bit of cleaning that. Plastic is quite tough, really, quite hard. It's definitely different. And they want that to go then. They want that to go. That goes in there, I think. I'm just a bit worried if you put it in the wrong place, would you be able to get it off again? Goes in all right. Okay. A bit off there. There's that one. Do the other side a minute. I don't know if they do any more in the range. I really don't know. Oh, come on. If you like me, it's ideal if you've got fingers like me. Just curious to see how it turns out. Can be a bit, can be a bit, I want to say fiddly, it's my thumbs and fingers, but that needs to be pushing there. God, it's very tight fit. I'm not happy with that. Right, that's all right. I'm not going to use glue. As they say, it's a snap fit. I don't really want to push down there, does it? It does, because it keeps flipping back out. So, anyway, let's carry on. So, I've got... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I've got these guys, propellers. Go push on the end there. Like 
so. Nearly flew out, I'm cheating here really. You need a sounder, I think. But if that's all you need. Ideal if you're on holiday, stuck in a caravan and it's wet and rainy. And the missus is out shopping. <laughs> There's that. Then you want F4. It's all on the same spruce here sort of thing. It's not. Oh, a minute, how do they stick in? D -d -d -d. That's all right. Well, if you've got a youngster that wants to start modeling even. Even the kids could do this, really. I know it says for 14 years and above. But if they're supervised, there's no knives involved, no glue involved. Right, that prop just come off. It could have been me not sticking it on far enough. We do feel a bit loose that one, so I'll keep an eye on that one. Right, so that's that bit done. So now they want me to. So we got that. So now what number is that? W-L. Mm, which bit is that then? I don't know. Is it that bit? Guessing here, WL. It's not saying that's WL. It's got BD there. Oh, that's BD, the top bit. So there must be another bit. What's this bit? Yeah, WL. Well marked out there. So, what's that there? WL1. So, we should I take them bits out by the looks of it? Cut these bits out a minute. Don't quite know what they're for yet. I put them in the box where they're safe. They want me to put that on there, do they? And just having a look here. It's the right way up, isn't it? Yeah. That's bit there. That's BD which goes that way. They want this. Ah, oh, I see. They want me to stick that on there. Right. Huh. There's your water line, isn't it? Wow. 
Wow. Certainly different. And that goes on there. Yeah, that goes on there like like that. Like so. Oh chaps. You got your water line all done if need be. Because all this could be primed and painted, I suppose, really. You know, and the seams filled there, there's a bit of a seam gap there, but if you want it to go to town, and that keeps coming off there. So I'm going to leave that one off a minute. I'll put it in the box before I lose it. And I'm at the end of my put a bit of glue on that. But there's the whole of the shape anyway, all done. So. Moving on, so what do we need here then? Moving on, main deck assembly, cup of tea, isn't it? FD. that that's FD oh that was black or dark blue they class it but you got decking on there so begin you know um, when I see stuff like this I begin to think it's a toy you know sort of thing not so much a model but so we need sprue DA. That's D. That's B. I know, they're in here. goes at the back. What like that? Chaps, My nemesis. Okay, let's let's try. Let's put that on there first, maybe. That fits on there fine. The detail is quite good, really. <laughs> For what you know. Take it apart if you wanted to and paint it up. I presume you could. I don't know. Another one of them props come off there. So I'll put that in the box. Matter of fact, I might take them all off because I should lose them otherwise. And 
I'm afraid at the end of it, I might have to put some glue on them. So where do they want me to go there? What am I looking at here a minute? Ah, come off. I see what I'm doing wrong here. What I've picked up on is, right, they want me to cut these bits off here. So these here big bits here need to come off. Another one there. Right, another one there. And another one there. Stays there, right? Let's have another go here and see how that goes on. Press with the day, it's got. You, know, you definitely see the planking in that. How do they want me to press this? I'm not too sure about it. I don't think that bit there is supposed to be there. Because it don't actually sink into anything, that bit there. So, right. That fell up for you. There. Look at that. Push it down tight. I'm just in awe a bit of this because the detail is quite good on it. I say you got it. So that's the deck done. It's quite weighty as well. So let's get on to the centre deck anyway. I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> But for fourteen pound, and you could go to town on it really, if you wanted to paint it. If, but at the moment, at this very moment, I don't see any need for paint. Maybe a bit of weathering, and apart from the seams on here. You can't see the see any seams here. You see a bit of seam line there. And a fair gap there. But apart from that, it's quite a weighty bit of kit in all fairness. So, anyway. What next? So we need, is it B1 is that? B1. B. D, B1, is it B1 or, I'm trying to work out the instructions for a minute, that's B, to me, yeah, that'd be right, wouldn't it, that'd be right. This one here. I just need cleaning off here a minute.
I'd get a file a minute. <laughs> Okay, that's that there, there. No, I'm, do I need a sticker now? A sticker. Um, what's it calling out for you? Which I imagine is that one there, isn't it? Got three. Have a look. Being a bit heavy handed with this because it looks like it needs to be because they really do click in place, you know. It's yeah, look at that. Sat, sat down beautiful, really. Why can't they make model kits like it, you know? My Ming's quite good anyway, I think, isn't it? But that's sat down, you know. Gorgeous. So I've got to work out this sticker thing a minute. It's got three. It's got three there, but there's a couple of things around it, but... I'm sure it means this. Let's see how this works. Ooh, a fin. Ooh. Tell you what. Why am I always working back the bloody front here? It's like the fi very fine decking you get. So we need... Ooh. Oh, ooh. I think once it's done, it's done. You're never going to get it off again, but I should have took these off first, maybe. Not sure. Okay. That's come, coming off. It's coming off. I'll get a good pair of tweezers. Try to pick that off. Will I have a tear or not? So. Uh, excuse me. If I have a car move back then. Hmm. I think these should have popped off first, maybe. Not sure. I'll tell you. But it even got planking on this. Oh, 
I'm just wondering what the best way around this is now. Just to poke it out, isn't it, really? No, it won't come off. Try not to ruin it. It says you don't need a knife, do it really? But I do think bloody thing don't want to come off. I tweeted this crap. Offline that on there, and then would it really matter? I don't think it will matter because you got by the looks of it, you got another deck that goes on top of that. So I'll carry on. There's just more flipping hose to get out here. I don't really know the best way to do that. Not happy with that, it's just a little bit out on one side here. And I don't. Right, there's that. There's hundreds of hose here. Need popping free or something. Right, thank God, this is a bit going here again in a minute. This whole side seems to be out a bit. I don't think I can put it across. No, it won't. 
Right, okay, that will have to do. Now, so we'll see how, this, how we move forward here. It does look like this is just a bit out. Well, as you can see, it's just. Just a bit, is it? It's on the bloody screw or some bloody thing here. But it's all right up there. It's fine up there because if anything it needs to come over this way a bit. But hey, I'm not quite happy with that so much. Perhaps with the other decks on, you won't see it. Because that bit there won't, it just needs to, the old bloody thing needs to come over a bit. And I can't see how to, if you put it over, it's not going to, you're going to have a crease somewhere, isn't he? That's brought it over, so perhaps a crease here ain't going to hurt anyway because you've got another deck to go on top of it. We'll have to see, won't we? Oh, and that crease will come out. There's a crease there, but I'm pretty sure that deck will... different right I'm on, I'm on. wow yeah there's a crease there but I've got a funny feeling we can get this this will be covered up. So D19. Well, that's B. Not D. Yeah. Let's have a quick back away of that. That's D19, so what the hell, there's a lot of bloody numbers there. 17 for one. Which is this here. Right. That's that. They want me to put that on there. So I shall do that first. It's a covered up pretty well that center deck, which is good. A bit of trimming in there, and a bit of trimming there. No, not too bad, is it? Tell you what, guys. Uh, that's not looking too bad, really. It's got the planking on the 
so-called sticker. Right, so far, not looking too bad. So I want more flipping stickers now. You're going to drive me nuts. So what do I want here then? 14, which is this guy, which is this chap here. But say, I wonder if I can get it. I'm not quite sure the best way of taking these things off. Probably on there, like that. Perhaps I should have thought a bit, a bit about it beforehand. Very weird stuff. So let's grab one of these a minute. <laughs> Definitely different, isn't it? Yeah, that's that bit. Very thin. That's that bit. What are we on? We're on, we're on this bit, aren't we? That's that. So I need one now, do I? Which is this bit. So... Work these out a minute. Oh, come on. I think it's better being whipped out first, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the correct way is of doing this. Peeling off now. I've got a feeling this was to stay behind on the backing paper, maybe. I don't know. It needs to, it needs to come off. Stick everywhere in it. Right. My fingers now. So that will need to go on there then. Try and get it square. Square my backside. Not there's anything but flipping square. There it is, though, it's on there. So, right, where are we? 17 now. 17. 
presumes this guy here. Just whip this out a minute. See, they don't want to pop out on them, which is a shame. This end first being the thicker end. It's very thin. It's not very thick. Ah. What's going on here then? It's very fine. I could. So that goes over that bit there, doesn't it? It's got to take your time, really, I think, with it. done anything like this before. I'm beginning to wonder whether it'd be better the other way around. So you get your O's lined up this way. Everything square. Like that. And that where's my little stick to? Nope, he hasn't gone over there, has it? He has now. Well, he did do. Come on over here, though. There he goes. I presume someone will come on top of here again, so... There, there's that bit there. It's looking quite good. It looks good, quite, you know. So, right, let's get and finish this bit before I, um, want 20 now. Call it a day. 1920. No, it's not 20, is it? Whew, I'm sweat here. So it's got 20, but it can't be 20. Twenty's got to be a small bit then. There you are there. So we'll put these on a minute. Right, all right. We've got to be a bit careful here. Though it's saying, where are we? Though it's saying 20, 20 is not going to actually fit there, is it? I don't think so. Though, funny enough, I've, there's like a little cut mark there. Okay, here we go.
Now, I thought there's a little, I could see a little line there. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Something else this is, isn't it? It's different, definitely different from me. And I don't know what a class it is, to be honest. I suppose you're assembling. I'm not sure what I make of it yet. Being a modeler or putting kits together with glue and painting, I don't know what you would class this is. In all fairness. I don't know if it's part of the hobby, really, modeling. I, I don't know. But it's definitely nice to do something a little bit different. And like I said, if you're on holiday or not necessarily, or you've never done a ship before, well, it could be a good way to start, really. Give you some idea what it's all about. I'm going to stop there anyway for part one because I'd. I, I'm there you go guys I'm fairly you know I'm quite really impressed with that really um it's all gone together flipping brilliant really and it's squishing down there a bit but that's gone together brilliant yeah I think you know, there's no glue I, I haven't used any glue yet I gotta admit I think the props will need gluing on but then, I suppose at the end, if you just push them on and put them on its dry dock, you probably get away with it that way. But, there guys. If you got this far, thanks for watching. I know it's not me uh, normal thing to build, but because I'm waiting for some PE, I thought I'd do something a bit different, but it's quite weighty as well. Yeah. Like to know what you guys think in the comments. I don't know if they do any more. You know, there must be more of the range, I suppose, like it. But it's 14 quid on Amazon. And to me, you know, you sat down doing nothing. You could do this on a tea tray, watching telly or anything, really. No smell or nothing. Right, guys, I'm going to call that it for part one. And hope to see you in part two. So uh, bye guys and stay safe.